morning, Bay City Black Hats. I'm Isabella. And I'm Anavi. Today is Wednesday, November 29th, and it's National, National Electronic, Electronic Greetings Day. Day. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honoring the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, and one indivisible. Now for a moment of silence. Attention all black cats need to make up absences. After school detention is your opportunity to do that. Go to A118 every Monday, Thursday, 3 p.m. and at 4.30 p.m. The black cat basketball team will play in the Needville tournament November 30th through 2nd at Needville. Times to be announced. The swim and dive team will have a swim meet December 1st at the Leffingwell Natatorium, Freeport against Brazosport Dive, Invite, at 5 p.m. The Lady Cats will be competing in the Rockport Fulton Tournament at Rockport Fulton High School, November 3rd through December 2nd. Times to be announced. To help promote our food drive, the library will be offering a candle item in exchange for a dollar fine. This is for the library book fines only. Hey Bay City High School, the 2023 Holiday Food Drive serving our students in need is accepting donations through December 12th for Thanksgiving and Christmas food boxes. Items needed included canned goods, microwavable foods, peanut butter, cereal, beans, rice, pasta, etc. Our SAT Word of the Day brought to you by AVID is pervasive, meaning to spread or diffuse throughout every part. In some countries, corruption is so pervasive that bribery is considered an acceptable way to do business. Well, that's it for today, Black Hats. Make sure you tune in every day during Homeroom. We'll see you back tomorrow. Have a willing Wednesday. Or not. The choice is yours. This is Anavi. And I'm Isabella. And don't forget, it's, it's a, a great, great day to be a Black Cat. Cat. Welcome back, Black Cats, here at BCHS Cosplay Light. Today I'm here with Mr. Black. And today we're interviewing him about welding. What do you do inside the welding room? I've been an instructor here. Uh, we do certifications. We do fabrications, just different types of welds. What other teachers teach welding? Uh, right now we only have myself and Mr. Cobb. He teaches all the intro classes and I teach the higher up classes, the welding one and welding two. What kind of tools do you use to weld? Uh, normally, we, we have uh, regular box welders or stick welders. Uh, we use them quite a bit, grinders, cutting, cutting wheels, uh, bandsaw, those, those type of things. What is the most important rule while welding? The most important rule while welding is don't horseplay. We have a lot of people that turn up machines when, they're wel when other students are welding. Uh, that's a, a no-no, running playing, that's the biggest deal. Don't get hurt, don't get nobody hurt. If you get a certificate, will it help you in the later your life? It will, but mostly just getting the, the knowledge of the welding and how it's done, how, it's, uh, how it progresses. The certificates that you get will get you in the door. They won't get you a job, but they'll get you in the door. What are the dangers of welding? Uh, the dangers are uh, you're dealing with electricity, uh, fire, gases, uh, explosions. You know, if you're not doing something right, you could have an explosion. Um, but mostly fire and electrician. How long have you been a welding teacher? I've been here at Bay City for, this is my seventh year. Um, and it's, it's um, I come here in 2017 and been here ever since. <laughs> What made you become a welding teacher? Uh, actually, I wasn't a welding teacher. I was a hobby welder. Uh, I had built a trailer and barbecue pit for uh, a friend of mine's son. I mean, a friend of mine's dad. And he asked if I wanted to be a welding instructor. And they sent me through, got the certification, teaching certifications. And here I am. <laughs> Is there anything that y'all make inside welding? We, right now we're building, uh, I don't know if y'all might have seen some of the little roses that we make, metal wel welded roses. Uh, we make barbecue pits, trailers. Um, we make flower stands, just pretty much anything you can want. 
What is the most difficult part about welding? Mostly the the get up and go. Uh, you, you have to practice constantly to keep your trade up. Uh, if you don't practice, your weld will get sloppy, and then it'll be harder to get back in. Thank you for your time, Mr. Black. That's been it for today, Blackcats, and we'll see you in your next piece of club spotlight.